do I have a treat for you. Hey guys, Dog Dare here, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now today I will be showcasing my new Enderman farm, the Ender Mini. It's uh, not the most efficient Enderman farm, not the fastest, but it will cap out in about five minutes. Drops the Enderman to five health so they can be killed with a wooden sword hit. And let me real quick turn my volume down. <laughs> They can be killed with a wooden sword. And it's actually a relatively simple concept that I haven't seen used a lot for Enderman farms. So, uh, check it out. So, this is all the redstone a simple Etho hopper timer and piston pushers with one wide spawning platforms and uh... yeah it works pretty simply i haven't seen a lot of timer enderman farms before but this one seems to work pretty well not insanely amazingly but like i said it does cap itself out with two spawning layers after around five minutes ish also, it is a two-chamber Enderman farm, which I don't see a lot of. And, of course, you can put in all sorts of extra features, but this one is, you know, bare minimum. It's completely safe from the inside. The Enderman can't see you at all. The only way they could possibly see you is if you look up at them like that. And I keep falling out, because I... This thing I just made absolute bare minimum. The reason it's called the Ender Mini is because this thing is freaking tiny for an Enderman farm. And it's dirt cheap. I mean, seriously. This thing goes up to, like, Y50. Most Enderman farms go up to Y128. Snapshot bugginess, sadly, has its problems, but... Works pretty well overall. Now this can be built in 1.7. Or it can be built in the snapshots and up. So, uh... Yeah, I will be putting out a tutorial video soon. But for now, let me explain the redstone a little bit. Holy floating enderman. There we go. This is all the redstone. A simple etho hopper timer with 16 items. The delay can be tweaked, but 16 seems to work pretty well. Now, it is modified a little bit to account for the fact that you can't power any of these pistons with it however two layers uh, well any amount of layers is run by one, this one single clock and two layers is more than enough to cap out the farm after five minutes it's uh relatively efficient only requires uh 30 slime balls which is the most expensive thing in here other than maybe quartz for comparators but you're gonna have that if you're in the end anyway so that's part of the reason I said this thing is dirt cheap it's uh, its most expensive ingredients are slime balls vines and comparators so I hope you've enjoyed this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't and of course, to check out the, sh the tutorial video once that comes out, should be up later today or tomorrow. My name is Trilog Dare. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.